What's up YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the performance of the solid state drive in this 13 inch MacBook Pro. As you guys may be aware of, this is a custom build, early 2011 MacBook Pro with the Sandy Bridge i5 processor and the standard four gigs of RAM. This is a custom build because I specified a uh, 128 gigabyte SSD over the standard 350 gigabyte HDD. And the reason I was willing to give up all that space was because an SSD dramatically improves the performance of the computer. Uh, the biggest bottleneck on any computer with a hard disk drive is latency. With an SSD, you virtually eliminate latency, so a lot of applications and the operating system load and boot much faster. So for this demo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load some apps. And you can see in my dock, I've gone ahead and just crammed it full of apps just to show you what's going to happen. I'm going to uh, just load some apps individually right now so you can see how quickly they load. And then I'm going to reboot the computer and all of these apps are going to load in an instant. It's pretty cool. So let me go ahead and just shoot some apps up really quickly. So we have Microsoft Word, One Bounce, PowerPoint, One Bounce, Excel, Outlook, Pages, Keynote, Angry Birds. Well, I gotta get rid of that. All right, let's get rid of Angry Birds. Uh, let's go to System Preferences, iMovie, iPhoto, iTunes, Safari, Chrome, Mail, Address Book, FaceTime, and I think that's all of them. Well, we can do Messenger, Microsoft Doc, Document Connection, VLC, and that's all. So they've all booted, and you can see it took virtually no time for them to boot. Now what I'm going to do is shut this down and restart it, and I have all these apps to load on startup. Okay, let's see if I can keep it in focus. Now what you want to do is pay attention to the bouncing icons on the bottom. So, all right, come on, stay in focus, stay in focus. There you go, you can see just how quickly the apps loaded. They bounce for maybe a second. And there we go, so it looks like they're all loading. So there you go, that was very fast. In fact, let's look at all the apps that loaded. We got Finder, the App Store, Safari, Chrome, uh, Mail, Calendar, iTunes, iPhoto, iMovie. We have Keynote, Pages, Numbers, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook, Communicator, or whatever that is. Um, we have VLC, Twitter, TweetDeck, and Photoshop. Now let's go ahead and put this to sleep. See how long it takes to go to sleep. So there we go. Now let's wake it up. That simple. Now it's not as fast as the MacBook Air, but of course I have all of these apps suspended right now. Let's go ahead and launch Angry Birds just to show you how quickly that loads. There you go. Now let's do something a little more demanding and load Call of Duty 4. So it's virtually instantaneous. I've never seen a game load this quickly. So let's see if we can skip all that. Let's just go to new game. Well, let's go to resume game. You see how quickly it's loading the game. All 
Alright, so you can see just how quickly the game loads. There's virtually no wait time at all. Alright, that's all I'm going to do for that game, but you get the idea. It plays very good. I'm going to do a, a gaming demo at a later time. Alright, let, now let's go ahead and do the shutdown, see how long it takes to shut this all down. There we go. Once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg taking a look at the performance of the SSD on the MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching.